okay now we will go through the exemplar problems in the class 12 physics chapter 11 dual nature of radiation and matter okay uh, the light consists of a discrete uh, elements called uh, photons. Each photon has the energy of H nu. Mother nu. This nu is the uh, frequency of the uh, this uh, light, and H is the flux constant. Okay. Uh, this is the frequency of the incident light. So, um, the, when uh, the light falls on the metal, the metal will emit the electrons. Okay, the electrons absorb energy from the photon, then uh, it is ejected uh, with some kinetic energy. So, this works on the principle of the conservation of the energy okay this is energy from the light is absorbed by the electrons and the remaining energy is used as a kinetic energy of the electrons okay this is called the photoelectric effect okay this from the so different kind of metals uh, uh, emit electrons at a different frequencies okay kinetic maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons equal to energy of the incident light minus the work function work function is nothing but the minimum energy required for the metal to emit the electron okay that is the important here is the minimum energy so some electrons may require more energy but the minimum energy required to emit the electrons so this is the work function work function h equal uh, pi equal to h v naught v naught is the threshold frequency okay that is the minimum frequency below this frequency electron will not get emitted we above that frequency or equal to that frequency only will uh, electron will get emitted okay this is the one electron volt equal to 1.6 in 10 power minus 1 volt so how this energy is related to the stopping potential okay ev naught e is the charge on the electron so this is the important equation kinetic energy of the electrons is equal to e into stopping potential minus equal to incident light energy minus the work function okay so if we replace put pi equal to hv naught then this will become hv minus hv naught this is the d Voglich wavelength lambda equal to flux constant divided by the momentum okay the lambda is the wavelength that is related to the wave nature of the light momentum is the momentum equal to mass into velocity this is related to the particle nature of the light so the d Broglie equation connects both the wave nature and the particle nature so this is the dual nature of light so the, he says light behaves as a wave or uh, particle based on the experiment. So here momentum equal to mass into velocity. Remember this is velocity and here is the frequency. Okay. So you should not get confused with these symbols. HV here frequency, MV here velocity. Okay. Pi this work function depends on the metal power equal to number of photons per second in the energy energy of one photon if you replace uh, momentum by m e so here lambda is uh, inversely proportional to the mass okay and the lambda is inversely proportional to the velocity also c velocity of light in air equal to lambda into the frequency a particle is dropped from the height h the Dirichlet wavelength of the particle as a function of the height okay we have to connect that height with the wavelength okay
so this is the velocity of the particle falling from that height so you have to connect that uh, so here de broglie value h by p if replace the momentum with the mass into velocity and replace v with this height uh, this velocity and the height relation you will get this so because this is in square root and this is denominator so lambda is directly for the um the negative of, of power of the height okay so this is the answer So this is the due question, okay? H P P. The length of the photon needed to remove a proton from the nucleus, which is bound to the nucleus of one um, ego electron volts, the M E V. Energy is nearly equal to. One MeV equal one into ten power six electron volt. Okay, this is the Planck's constant velocity of light. Okay, E equal to HV. We replace the frequency equal to L C by lambda because C equal to lambda into frequency. So now HC equal to H into three into ten power eight. So this is to convert to the electron volt. Okay, this is you add the power from here, so minus thirty four plus eight. So after that you will get this H C H C by lambda, um, H C by lambda E equal to H C by lambda. So lambda equal to this. Okay, this is the wavelength. Okay, so here energy, energy equal to H V. We replace by C by lambda, then you will get that equation. Consider the beam of electrons. Each electron with energy not incident on the metal surface kept in a vacuated chamber. Then Okay, the the electron emitted will have the maximum energy of this. So why this is not valid? Because the Einstein's uh, photoelectric equation is for the photon incident on the metal. Here is the electron can be emitted with any energy. The maximum we okay. So here beam of electrons is given. So that is uh, that Einstein equation is not applicable. This Einstein equation is not applicable for the beam of electrons. That is the photons only is given. So the maximum uh, electron can be emitted with any energy. The maximum of this incident energy. Okay. Uh, this figure is not in the book. I don't know what this is referring. Maybe this is old. A proton, neutron, and electron, and a particle, and alpha particle. A proton, neutron, electron, and an alpha particle have the same energy. Okay. Uh, 
then the de broglie wavelength okay so that means we have to connect this wavelength is inversely proportional to the mass okay the proton mass and the mass of the neutron same the electron is the least mass and the alpha particle has the highest mass okay mass is inversely proportional to the wavelength kinetic energy okay here you see lambda equal to hvp lambda mm, wavelength is inversely proportional to the mass okay the electron moving with the initial velocity is given Uh, this unit vector i direction and is in the magnetic field then the de broglie wheel and the important thing is here uh, the force magnetic force is perpendicular to the both uh, velocity and the magnetic field so it uh, this velocity will not get affected this is in i j then force will be in the k direction okay so it will remain constant then the wavelength will remain constant so this velocity is not going to change in the magnetic field force is perpendicular v and v uh, so there will not be since velocity is not going to change lambda won't change electron mass m with the velocity okay is in the electric field now it is in the electric field and de broglie wavelength is given by seven. so this is the velocity electric field force equal to mass into acceleration acceleration force by mass okay force is the charge into electric field then after that you will get this this is from the your 11th portion kinematic equation final velocity equal to initial velocity into acceleration in time okay after substituting then you after simplification you will get this this is similar okay this is the answer you can refer to the net similar to the above realistic corrections become necessary when the expression of the kinetic energy of m square become comparable with the mc square where m, uh, m mass of the particle and what de broglie wavelength the realistic corrections become important for the for an electron so when the velocity of light is greater than the speed of light these uh, corrections are required that is so for the different wave um, for the different wave length you compute the velocity okay based on this formula h m v uh, so the velocity equal to h by m lambda for different lambda you compute the velocity so whichever velocity this velocity is more than the velocity of light so for correction required for these things so these two wave length two particles in the of the mass so the mass is greater than this they have the same de broglie mass different mass but they have the same wavelength means momentum must be same okay then their momentum must be same and the energy okay so when they have the different mass is different but they have the same wavelength okay that means this momentum must be same 
momentum must be same means uh, so the velocity should differ okay so the energy is uh, inversely proportional to the mass more mass have less energy okay Liberally wavelength of a photon is twice the wavelength of the electron. The speed of the electron is given 11. E equal to HV, H C by lambda, okay, lambda is equal to H by B, then uh, lambda is equal to H by M V, the C by 100 they are given for the electron, okay, velocity of the electron they are given, then after simplification is this becomes this, from um, the energy of the electron, kinetic energy of the electron, we can find out the velocity of the electron, okay. See velocity of the electron multiply by the mass of the electron. This side also you multiply uh, mass of the electron equal to square root two times. Then this this will cancel out. You will get square root of m e e. Okay. So from this you substitute it in the lambda then find the e. So okay after simplification you will get this. 10 power minus 2 so this uh, solution is also there in the net you can refer 10 power minus 2 okay photons absorbed in matter converted into heat a source emitting a n photon of energy V is used to convert a frequency is 1 kg of the ice into water here to convert 1 kg of ice into water then the time taken for the conversion so if to convert 1 gram of water into 1 gram of ice into water we need 80 calories I took from the net that is not given in the book maybe given somewhere so Based on that, we have to compute the time. Okay. These are the answer tool. Eighty calories to convert one gram of ice to water. So for one kg of ice, we need eighty thousand calories. E equal to H V. The total energy required. And this is H V uh, per photon per second. So at the time d, there is n number of photons per second. This will equal to this. Then the t is inversely proportional to the velocity sorry it is inversely proportional to the frequency frequency this is frequency so inversely proportional to this so you can uh, these three the answers a particle moves in a closed orbit around the origin due to the force which is directed towards the origin the de Broglie wavelength of the particle varies cyclically between the two values okay which of the following the particle would be moving in a elliptical orbit with the origin as one of focus okay when the de Broglie wavelength okay here uh, near to the one of the focus the wave uh, speed will be more wavelength is inversely proportional to the velocity when it is near to one of the uh, focus the speed will be more so uh, wavelength will be less okay
see like this so if it is the particle is closer to the one of the focus here speed will be more so the wavelength will be less here so lambda 1 m1 m1 lambda 2 m is since lambda 1 uh, lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 because this v2 is greater than the v1 this is near to the focus velocity is more the one of the focus for c okay A proton and an alpha particle are accelerated using the same potential difference. How are the d Broglie wavelength related to the each other? See, this is these equations are derived here, here also. So in this, okay. So based on that, you can find out what is the relations. This equation I derived there only based on that you can find out in the explain of in the explanation of the photoelectric effect we assume one photon of frequency collides with the electron okay we assume one photon from that electron absorbs the energy okay This leads to the equation. This is the energy of the incident light, incident photon, okay, minus the work function. This is the kinetic energy of the emitted electron, okay, phi is the work function of the matter. But if an electron observes two photons, they are asking that means this is for the one photon only, two photon, uh, each frequency, what will be the maximum energy of the emitted electron? okay this is important so this will become 2 hv because this energy is come absorbed from the two photons okay so here 2 hv minus 5 what is why is the fact that two photons absorbed is not taken into the consideration it's not given in the book okay it's not taken into consideration in our discussion of the stopping potential okay the probability of observing two photons by the same electron is very low okay that is why it is not okay hence such a um, emissions will be negligible okay there are materials which absorb photon of the shorter wavelength it absorbs and emit photons of the higher wavelength okay it is absorbing shorter wavelength and emitting higher wavelength can there be a stable substance which absorbs photon of larger wavelength and emit shorter wavelength the energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength 16 In the first case, the energy is given is less than the energy supplied. Okay, okay, is less than the supplied. This can happen. In the second case, the material has to supply the energy as the emitted photon has the more energy. This cannot happen. Okay, this cannot happen. Emitted energy cannot be more than the absorbed energy in the uh, with stable substances. Do all electrons that absorb photon come out and leave for a spot electron? No, this is uh, it is not uh, necessary. No, most electrons get scattered into the metal. Okay, only few come out of the surface of the metal. There are two sources of light each emitting with the power of 100 watts one emits x-rays of wavelength uh, one nanometer and the other uh, see like this many nanometer find the ratio of the number of photons uh, okay see 18 okay this is the ratio number of photons emitted by the x-rays and the visible uh,
consider the figure this one for the photoelectrons how would you reconcile uh, with the momentum conservation note that light photons have the momentum is different direction than this so this uh, momentum direction is different from this this 90 the momentum transferred to the metal at the microscope level okay atoms observe the photons and this momentum transferred mainly to the nucleus and the electrons the excited electrons is emitted conservation of momentum needs to be accounted for the momentum transferred to the nucleus and the electron level electron levels okay Consider the metal exposed to light of this wavelength and the maximum energy of the electron doubles when you change the wavelength to 400. Is used to find the work function in the electron volt. So the maximum energy is the this is the energy of the incident uh, photon minus the work function. So if you replace V by C by lambda, then you will get this equation. So based on that, you will get the work function. Assuming electron is confined to a this uh, one millimeter wide region, find the uncertainty okay so that is not a, this is not in the ncrt book now this is evolved two monochromatic beams every equal intensity heat on the screen the number of photons heating on the screen by beam e is twice to the beam b then what inference can you made about this frequencies equal to okay the frequency of the beam b is twice that of the frequency of beam e number of photons in the frequency intensity is equal to number of photons in the frequency then frequency of the beam b is twice the frequency of beam e is important two particle a and b of d probably wavelength uh, combine we are combining two wavelength to form a particle C. The process of concentration momentum find the D Broglie wavelength. Okay, this you can refer 23. This is how we are combining find the final uh, wavelength of the combined particles. A neutron beam of energy E scatters from atoms on the surface with the spacing for first maximum of the intensity is reflected beam is what is the energy okay 24 so this is the answer So immediately you can go through the answers, okay. This is syllabus, uh, it is not in the book. So anyway you can find, uh, answer is given, you can go through it. Okay, here in this, a student performs the experiment on the photoelectric effect using the two materials A and B. So given the which material has the higher work function. See this material uh, because this frequency is more than this material at which uh, the stopping voltage is zero here. Okay, so this will have the higher work function 27. The stopping potential is zero at the higher frequency for V, hence it is the, the higher work function. Okay. Given electric charge of the electron, find the value of the H. So you have to find the flux constant. So H by uh, slope. Okay, from the curve slope is uh, this. then h equal to 
divided by the slope so from this uh, for the families of the h so from this what is in h works out to be different okay flux constant is different for the for the a and b the experiment is not consistent with the theory okay flux constant should be same this also you can go through this elastic collision okay so law of conservation of the momentum using law of conservation of the momentum then they are final this consider a 20 volt bulb emitting the light of wavelength like this and uh, shining the metal surface keeps at the this distance assume the metal surface as a work function is given okay estimate the number of photons emitted by the bulb per second okay number of photon power of the bulb divided by the energy okay will there be a photoelectric emission when the energy is greater than the work function there will be a photoelectric emission 29 this is the first this many photons per second uh, yes because the this is uh, uh, greater than the work function energy is greater than the work function okay okay you can go through the answers